Hi guys, it's Friday. Uh, going to be a lazy day today, I'm not going to do much. Um, Michelle's at work, wait till she gets home and we'll kind of start the day. But I'm just going to rest and basically chill, because I can. Uh, done my editing, bits and bobs, don't need to do anything else uh, until I start making tea. And then I don't even know what we're going to have, so I'll figure it out at the time. Till then. Gonna watch TV and have a drink. Moving on. Good Saturday morning guys, as you can see I'm walking limping into the kitchen What Michelle's doing is peeling some spuds The cheaty way right into the bin And I'm going to start preparing some leeks Because we're going to make leek and potato soup That's going to be the today's culinary Endeavour Endeavour, that's how I'm glad Michelle said that because words So I'll get on preparing that when Michelle finishes Peeling the spuds. because what we're going to do is uh, batch it up and put it in the freezer so we decided from now on new experiment is make a lot more than we need and put it in the freezer which is why we bought um, well you'll just be able to see them there we bought uh, bags and containers for putting stuff in the freezer and that's what we're going to try and do aren't we? Uh, right okay saying that the pan's on to heat with butter and a bit of oil. Uh, about 1.2 kilograms of leek, uh, kilogram or two kilograms of potatoes, is it? 1.2 kilo, uh, about a kilo of potatoes. A kilo of potatoes and two small onions. And um, Michelle's just taking over chopping. Yeah, and we're getting tired after doing them uh, leeks. So I'll let her ruin her arm as well anyway moving on first fail in batch cooking get a big enough pan we've had to take the uh stock pot out of the i used that for making tea last night i was we, we had hot dogs so i used it to eat the hot dogs now what we're doing is realizing that our pan is a little bit small oh, i'm gonna make a mess I need you to help me. I can't. Come around the other side, just close the dishwasher. Ow. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, sorry, cat. Okay, guys. It fits a little bit better, doesn't it? So I've taken over control of Alan's vlog for today for now. As you can see, it's all wilted down now. It's looking very wilty. And I'm gonna add the stock now and boil it. And what's happening now is we're gonna blitz it. We'll stick with the Just going to taste it for seasoning 
and that's basically it done isn't it no no oh we got some more ingredients i got it wrong that's actually properly like smooth and it took two minutes yeah oh. that was our new stick blender we've just purchased so spoon in <laughs> yeah, it's not pouring cream is it Oh wow, it's really not pouring cream. You're gonna blend that. I think you might be right. It might, it might just melt. I might get lucky, it might just melt. Maybe the extra thick wasn't the greatest idea. Yeah, cool. That makes sense. I think it was supposed to be pourable. <laughs> sure, never mind. Give it a quick blend. It'll melt, look it's melting. It's melting! Melting, I tell you! Yeah. Extra thick, fresh double cream. It's probably not the same as whipping cream, is it? Ah, uh, no. And how much milk? Uh, 300 mils. Big, 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 big spoon there. Oh, perfect. I was about to say, I was just going to try and eyeball it, but this is easier. Right, and now it's just needing to be stirred, be stirred together and we're good. Like I say, the, the cream will melt, the, the soup's hot. And you've still got 200, 250ml of full fat milk if you've got a recipe that you can use that for. Okay, so what? Well, that's it, is it? Yeah. That's it, that's it done. What we've done, we've put some, uh, got some crusty bread in the oven cooking away pre-made cook at home stuff and then we're going to have that for our lunch there we go two two served out portions with some crusty bread i'm going to go and eat that now and watch the rugby